By contrast, Alvin and other long-standing deep-sea vehicles owe their success to tried and tested engineering principles and decades of careful iteration. Alvin was originally designed in the 1960s by blending innovative ideas with fundamental physics. Its core feature is a spherical pressure hull made from high-strength steel, later upgraded to titanium. This sphere design evenly distributes the immense pressure found deep underwater, preventing weak points where failure could occur. Since its launch, Alvin has undergone numerous upgrades and repairs, but the principles behind its design remain solid. It has carried thousands of scientists and explorers to depths far below the ocean's surface, including famously exploring the Titanic wreck in 1986, just one year after the ship was rediscovered. Exploring the deep ocean is no small feat. The major challenge is hydrostatic pressure, the crushing force exerted by the vast amount of water above the submersible. At extreme depths, this pressure can reach over 15,000 psi, roughly 8 tons per square inch. Imagine standing under the weight of a small car pressing down on every square inch of your body. To survive this, submersibles need a hull design that can resist compression without buckling. The sphere is ideal because pressure distributes uniformly over its surface. Alvin's pressure sphere is about 6 feet wide, made of thick titanium, allowing it to dive safely to depths of over 6,000 feet, and even deeper with upgrades. Deep-sea exploration began long ago, with primitive diving bells used even in ancient times.